Shalom, Shalom. Back with another lesson, a little sit down, me and the brother Kabar. I mean, I'm the brother Tamaya. Brother Kabar. We're back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. About, you know, just to keep pushing. But without further ado, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Next up, honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone that do real well. Peace and salutations to sincere Akim, pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And just a short little lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai about, you know, the fact that we need to keep pushing this word because um, this word uh, is, is how we're going to get our kingdom. Okay, it says um, the gospel must be pushed throughout the, um, and then shall the end come. Mm -hmm. God, I was going to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This I'll... is uh, St. Matthew 24. And uh, let me just start at 13. It says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Gone. So you got to endure all the way through to the end, you see? So you can't get faint in the day of adversity. The scripture says, He that is faint, he that faint in the day of adversity, that strength is small. So just because mm -hmm. you see, you know, these terroristic. Uh, propaganda going on as far as us, that doesn't mean that you get faint and, and, and tuck your fringes and, and, and go run away, man. No, you, this is the time to go even harder. I have to prove to you, Abba Shem Shai, that you are a true man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So, what, what did uh, I say again? It says, But he that shall endure until the end, the mm. same shall be saved. You got something on that? Um, I mean, I think you brought that before. I mean, just to endure, you know what I'm saying? That's right. like being made hard, you know what I'm saying? When it's endurance, like you said in the previous lesson, it's like, it's going to be something that you have to endure. It's going to be a tribulation as this chapter brings out, you know? It's mm -hmm. a great tribulation. The time of Jacob's trouble, it ain't going to be simple and plain. We ain't going to be just chilling, watching the game, and then we're going to be in the kingdom. Nah, it's going to be hardcore um, things that we're going to have to endure, you God. know what I'm saying? God, you know what I'm saying? To endure is like, to go through something basically like something that ain't easy you know what i'm saying it ain't easy being called a terrorist in every fucking uh <laughs> news channel that you see out there and then going out on the street and doing the same shit that they mm -hmm. demonizing you on on every tv mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying Con, you got family you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying i had a family member call me i had i told you i had one of my boys call me you know what i'm saying like yeah i need to get away you need to fall away from that boy <laughs> i'm like <laughs> I'm like, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had another close family member, you know what I'm saying? Called me and asked me about that. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I had to let him know, like, you know, that's propaganda, man. Ultimately, we, we preaching out the Bible. You know what I'm saying? The Bible condemns uh, murder. You know what I'm saying? Premeditated murder. That's not something that a, 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 a true Hebrew Israelite, right? There's no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. Right. But a true Hebrew Israelite, we, we follow the scriptures, man. We're not going to be out here doing, this is this is y'all war. This is y'all. Y'all going to be doing carnal things man our weapons are our warfare <laughs> are not carnal man they never have been this alone is our weapon and you see this is this is what they're scared of man that's right they're scared of that name yahweh shot as you was telling me uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah the yeah. name yahweh shot is a, is a threat yeah <laughs> <man>. literally yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. beautiful verse 14 it says in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come Con. So the end, the reason why you see like all these different things happen uh, throughout the world and, you know, uh, you know, these different uprisings of peoples and different nations and sanctions and, you know, fucking world wars and rumors of wars and, and, and uh, pestilence and evil happening, popping and off is because this gospel is being preached throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, which is ramping up the end. So everything is just as the men of the Lord are out here pushing this vibration, this righteous vibration of this gospel. Uh, that's why the end is starting to come so quicker, you know what I'm saying? Because this word is being pushed throughout onto all nations by way of the internet and the way of the elect being scattered like the speckled bird onto all different nations in their uh, respective cities and uh, highways and byways where they're located at. And this, this word literally has Esau panicking. Like he's having dreams at night of us taking him <laughs> into slavery like... He's like, damn, I, this, you got to do something about this. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the fake Jews, all right, if they were the real Jews in the Holy Land, there'd be no more wars. Con, yeah. con, this, this would be the kingdom. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah if, if that's the case, but this is obviously not the kingdom, man. You see, you see all this hell. This is pure hell, man. Pure wickedness, right. filth, disease. Right. This is, how is this the kingdom, man? We have AIDS. Right, the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> this is the, this is the, the, the wicked kingdom. 
Mm-hmm. I was going to get that in Amos 5. Yeah, you got it. Out. This is uh, Amos 5 and verse 10. It says, They that hate him, that, it's like, yeah, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speak uprightly. Time. So they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, man. Like, we go out there, we're correcting things, all right, and people are displeased with that, okay? And they abhor him, meaning they, they're completely disgusted with this. This work, this mighty work that we're doing, healing our people of the sickness uh, that the Esau and these heathen have, have put upon our people's brains and minds mm-hmm. to have them out here foolish, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing who they are according to the Bible and not following the Lord's statutes commandments of the Bible. To be foolish, to be sick is, is basically, you know, to uh, go against the laws of the Heavenly Father. That's mm-hmm. a sick, that's some sick shit. Mm-hmm. So we out here healing our people by, by bringing them back onto the, this marvelous light which is this word, man. And people hate that. They want our people to stay because they know that if our people wake up to who they are according to the Bible and start to pursue uh, a godly life, that they can no longer rule over us. Mm-hmm. That, the, we, that, we, that we would triumph over our oppressors because we did it time and time again uh, recorded in the scriptures in the past. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah. Right. And that's why, yeah, that's why it says they that hate him, they hate him that rebuke us in the gate, man. Because we, we ultimately, we, we building, we're really building the nation up, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Not by being fruitful and multiplying, but we are spiritually, all right, building, building this nation up, man. That's you right. Know, ultimately, for the prophecies, as we brought out in Matthew 24, how this gospel has to get preached, all right? And this, and Yahweh Shah said, and then shall the end come. So the end ain't going to come, all right, until this gospel is being preached throughout the whole earth, which we see. That it, that, that, hey man, we're living in those times, man. God, you know, and it says they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. You know, ultimately, like it's like brothers who um who are out here on the highways and byways, man. You know, letting our people know, like we saying, letting them know that you know you need to repent, come back into the lost statutes commandments. You know, that's that's something that's very powerful, and they see that as a threat, man. Mm-hmm. That, that that that's the real threat. You know, a lot of brothers who come. I wouldn't say brothers, but people who come up and like, all right, so so what's the end game? Like, what's the solution? Mm-hmm. Well, the solution is to follow these law statutes and commandments. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, Lord willing, you'll be delivered out of this place. You know what Lord I'm saying? Willing. That's that's the end game. The end game is that this place is going to be destroyed. Time. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah, that was all I had. Yeah, I got a quick precept. Uh, this is Proverbs. And you could you could uh, go in on this if you want. I heard you earlier talking about how, you know, this place is... Wicked. It says, um, this is Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. God. And we you know that's, that's, this is the, you see the rulership going on. I mean, this is the wicked rulership, you know? Mm-hmm. The, the, the wicked, pursuant to Job 9 24, you know? Because ultimately, <laughs> they're, the people are mourning out here, man. You know, every day, man, there's people out here getting getting killed, people getting judged, which we know how, how judgment works, you know, that's another topic, but ultimately, the whole, the, the state of uh, our people, you know what I'm saying, it's it's a wise thing, I don't know if he was going to get Ecclesiastes 7, but I mean, it's a wise thing, the uh, oppression maker of the wise man mad, mm-hmm. you know, it's better to, to be in the house of mourning than to be in the house of mirth, so, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the true uh, wise people, we're going to be out here in mourning, man, we're going to be out here crying, and that's what we're doing, crying sign, prophesying the downfall of this place, man. Because this is nothing to be out here happy about. You know what I'm saying? People are in that, um, what's that dude named Bill? Uh, I was listening to his song earlier, but you know that mm-hmm. song, Lovely Day? It's like an old song, right, singing right. that lovely day. You and a lot of brothers in that lovely day spirit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, just, like, like this is something to be happy about, man. Like, hell no. This, even if you, you know what I'm saying? Even if you got a raise, even if, you know, it was a so-called good day, it's a good day in hell, man. Yeah, right? they, they're simple, man, because... Honestly, the scripture says that, you know, the, the whole creation is waiting for, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai to come back and for, for the elect to be mm-hmm. risen up. It, as in Romans, uh, Romans 8 19, it says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited mm-hmm. for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. So the only way that, you know, the, the people would be happy is when uh, Esau gets taken out of power, man, and we get risen up and, 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 and rule the earth earth under in righteousness you know what i'm saying and mm-hmm. in order for us to be rulers of the earth it's not just oh you know you're an israelite and you're going to be a ruler no man mm-hmm. you have to you have to be a servant you have to go out there and, and work for mm-hmm. that throne for that crown you see so it's not going to be just simply handed <coughs> over it's not going to be handed over to you just because of your bloodline man it, there's works that come with this you know? <laughs> like times before us i mean 
our people knew we were Israelites. It, it, you know, that didn't make much of a difference. It was only, uh, was it two people who made it, uh, really, um, who got delivered out of the, um, the Exodus. Uh -huh. You know, only two people necessarily <laughs> got saved, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Out of everyone who made it. So, right. And they were all Israelites. You know what I'm saying? So that goes to tell you. I mean, just because you know you're an Israelite, Shalom, Kamya Shalom, I mean, that's all cool, you know, but <laughs> you ain't... You ain't getting delivered out of here just because you know you're Israelite. No, <laughs> no. You know? This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old mm. prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. God. I mean, that's the same thing that we're doing in these times, you see? So the prophets of old, they prophesied against many kingdoms of war and of pestilence. We're telling you... Right here, where we at right now, that this place is about to go down. It's about to be an economic apocalypse, economic collapse, World War Three, race wars, pestilence, earthquakes, famines, no food. We telling you all of this mm -hmm. from where we at. All right, we we are coming back in the same lot as the prophets of old, meaning pro to prophesy to tell you before. All right, and then you're gonna actually see these things happen because the Yahweh Shem Shai is the one that called us into this marvelous light as vessels to do this. Since the foundation of the of the earth, man, he has men set up that he bring back, all right, through reincarnation over and over and over again to prophesy in these wicked ass kingdoms, man, and this is one of them, you know. Come on, yep, yep. You guys on? Yeah. Um, this is James, chapter one, verse twenty-two. It says, <coughs> "But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves." And we bring this mm -hmm. out a lot. We bring this out, um, you know, this is just something that, you know, you got to stick to the basics, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be a hearer of the word. You want to be mm -hmm. a doer as well, you know what I'm saying? You have a lot of hearers out there, mm -hmm. you know, and they may, they may, uh, you know, they may relay it to you, but are they really doing it, you see? And, and, and when you don't do what's in this word, you're deceiving yourself, man. You're mm -hmm. basically... You're not deceiving you. How about Shimmy on Shy with that shit, man? I uh, mean, come on now. Uh, Jake, they want to be a supplanter. You think they can supplant you? How about Shimmy on Shy? That's not happening. <laughs> you know, the scriptures say the heart is deceitful above all things and Cause. desperately wicked. So you, you're only deceiving your, your own wicked self, man. <laughs> I mean, your, your, your heart is deceiving you. <laughs> you know, your wicked heart is deceiving you, man. Yep. If you're not, uh, <laughs> if you're not doing what's commanded, you know, it says to be a, a doer, man. You know, right. Yahushua commanded us to get on the highways and byways. So if you ain't doing that, if you're just listening to brothers, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you got to get out there, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Got to push this word, man. That The Lord, the Lord, um, told us to push this word. You got a quick precept? Um, yeah, I had one. Um, you got it out. You probably touched on it uh, in your last video. Just, um, was Isaiah 58, which talks about sound the trumpet. Um, sound the, um, yeah, bring it cry out. Spirit. Now, I was actually going to get it another one. Um, if I can find it. This is in 1 Corinthians 14 and 8. It says, for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? Mm. You know? So, the, the sound of the trumpet, it's not going to be an uncertain sound like... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we this is what it is. You right. Repent or get destroyed, man. That's it, man. We we ain't uncertain about it. This is something that has to happen according to prophecies. And we, we know it by faith, man. We believe this, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you truly believe, then you're going to be moving a certain way. That's the spirit. This is Ezekiel 33 and 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, mm -hmm. his blood shall be upon <laughs> his own head. See that? Beautiful. So if you, if you take... The sound of his trumpet, man, and then you don't take warning to it, hey, man. You don't prepare yourself for the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who's not coming back to meet thee as a man? <laughs> yeah, I don't really know, man. I, you got to have to speak to Yahweh Shai when he pull up. <laughs> Come. You know what I'm saying? I got a quick precept, if, I, if Lord will, Lord will, and I could bring it out. This is uh, Isaiah 62 and 6. It says, I have set a watchman upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. All right, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are indeed the Israelites, according to the Bible. Uh -huh. It says, um, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Mm. Beautiful. Khan, I mean, the Lord said he, he set watchmen upon his walls, man, that won't hold peace day nor night, meaning... 
we're not supposed to be keeping silence. We're supposed to continue to go out there and just, you know what I mean, burn them up with this word because this word is a weapon. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Lord said he'll make his word fire and his people would. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We don't need carnal weapons. We got the word, you see? Come. It says, and give them no rest till he establish and make Jerusalem a praise and earth. So we ain't never supposed to be quiet. You got something, bro? Con. I was going to get that in Isaiah. Now he was talking about it. Yeah. I should have started off. So like, this is uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, mm. lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Wow. So the Lord told, the Lord telling us to go out to our people and then spare, don't spare none of them. Just tell, just tell my people what's up. All right. The Lord said to give them warning from me. So we're literally warning our people, all right, um, from the God, uh, the God in the Bible sent us to warn our people about all the evil that he's going to bring. And if they got a problem <laughs> with it, then they got a problem with him. All right. Uh, and, and, and the Lord said, if you, he, he is not with me, is against me. Mm. You know, how could you be in this captivity in the worst position possible and, and enjoy it? You deserve to be destroyed. You see? Straight up. That's a big fact. I have a quick one. This is uh, Leviticus 19 and verse uh, 17. It says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You know, this is for people that want to say, Oh, yeah, y'all preaching hate. Nah, we preaching love, man. Mm -hmm. This is, this is uh, it says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So when we, we correct them, our, our brothers and sisters, let them know that, hey, if you smoke a cigarette, you need to put that shit out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You got to uh, grow your beard out. You know, stop celebrating these demonic, pagan, heathenistic holidays, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People hear that and this sounds like, hey, but this is really love, man. Mm -hmm. Let them know that they're the greatest people on this planet. All right. And the people who oppressed you, all right, they're going to they're gonna go into hardcore bondage. That's something that that's a righteous thing, man. Pursuant to uh, what was it first Thessalonians one and six? Mm. You know, that's something yeah. that this is the gospel, man. This is literally <laughs> the gospel. All right, that that's being preached, man. That's right. Get that. Yeah, because our people, this is love. Because if I'm not if I'm not trying to correct you, then ultimately you're gonna get put to death, and then and then your blood's on my hands. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. correct you. I'm gonna tell you about everything that's coming, and you. It's up to you to get your shit together. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We all heard it. We all heard the sound of the trumpet. All right? And it didn't take us too long to, to prepare ourselves all right? and, and repent, man, be converted all right? to, the, to the ways of Yah Bashim and Shai. Now, we're not saying that we're the most perfect men. You know what I'm saying? All our righteousness is filthy rags. All right? But we are preparing ourselves for this, for this marriage, man. Okay? Uh -huh. We are preparing ourselves... But it's marriage to the best of our ability, all right? And, we're, and what we do is we try to tell our people to prepare for this marriage, all right? And the ones that don't prepare themselves, all right, they're going, the Lord going to smoke their boots, man. They're going to have to come back through the loins of the elect. <laughs> Straight up. For real, for real. You had, you had another one, bro? Um, It was kind of just a quick point because, I mean, you know, I, you know, I did a lesson on the gospel early because it's like, People want to think the gospel is some like some soft Kirk Franklin like type of nah man. The gospel, this particular thing, this is this is the gospel. What we're preaching when we're out there on the streets, this is the same gospel that Yahusha he read in Luke the fourth chapter. If you want to get that, but right. just this, this is where he read. He quoted from Isaiah sixty one just to get verse five. It says, "And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers." Sounds like slavery to me, man. This is the gospel, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is what Yahweh Shah believes in, which, right. you know, pursuant to Matthew 5. You know what I'm saying? He he believes everything in, in the law and the prophets, man. Right, <laughs> he, right. He ain't taken away from that. So this is basically what, this is all we're preaching, man. We're preaching what the what the scriptures are really talking about, man. We're not, we're not avoiding the Old Testament. It's the because, Lord's uh, movie, man. It's the Lord's it's movie. It's the Lord's movie, man. This is how the Lord set it up to be. This is how, and, and as strange as it may look. And as strange as it may sound, this is the gospel of Yahweh by Shai. You know? And only 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 the uh the elect is gonna be able to, you know, be able to digest this doctrine. This is uh Amos chapter eight verse eleven. It says, Behold the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimon Shah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So the Lord is gonna send a famine. That's why it's so important that you know, you believers out there that may be watching, that you attain as much as you can because the, the stability of thy time is going to be wisdom and knowledge. And in order to get wisdom and knowledge, you have to be um, subject unto learning. You know, you have to open your ears and learn. 
but there's going to be a famine of the word, man. And the word is the, basically, the word is the medicine. All right? This is the only way you're going to be healed. So the Lord mm -hmm. is like, it's going to come a time where I'm going to take all this healing from you. And you ain't going to be able to heal yourself no more. So right now, you're supposed to be getting as mm -hmm. much as you can, the sp spiritually band-aids mm -hmm. and ointment. Because this word is considered ointment. All right? This mm -hmm. word will heal you. All right, but the Lord said he's, he's reaching out his hand, giving you his word. But soon he's going to, since you smacking his hand away, he's going to take his mm -hmm. hand back from you, man. You ain't going to be able to be healed, man. You're ultimately going to be destroyed. You see how it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power, man. Mm -hmm. Word up. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, uh, wisdom and knowledge is the ability of that time. And uh -huh. strength of salvation. So, if, like your brother's saying, if you don't got that knowledge and wisdom, like, already plugged in on that day, then you, 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 you're you going to be unstable. <laughs> you're not going to have that strength of salvation. You, you're going to be destroyed, point blank. Yeah. You're not going to have that. Because the, the wisdom and knowledge that it's talking about is the wisdom and knowledge of this Bible. Mm -hmm. right? It's not talking about your worldly wisdom or your worldly knowledge. Right? It's not huh. talking about your how much you know about LeBron James stats from 2007. to You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not considered any knowledge. That's right. All right. Because the Lord said the wisdom of this world is foolishness, foolishness. man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the only knowledge is the fear of the Lord, man. You, you, what's the whole duty of man? To fear of the Lord and keep His commandments, man. And one of those commandments yeah. is to, is to, uh, you know, go into the Lord's sheep of the house of Israel and give Him His word. That's all we got to do. Come. You know. That's right, bro. For real. Yep. <laughs> you had another one. Yeah, this is one. Um, kind of reminds me of what you you um made a. Uh, you made an example. I'm, I'm just read this, though. This is Malachi 1 and 14. It says, But cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupt thing. Mm. Just like he was talking about, you, you have a corrupt sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of people out here, they, they just, you know what I'm saying? They're not keeping the laws. They're not following, they're not being a doer, all right, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh's word, mm. all right? They're not following what's commanded. Right. Yahweh uh disciples, what did they do? They went out and went to the Lord's sheep. Feed my sheep. That's what Yahushua said to Peter three times. Mm -hmm. You know, just to continue, it says, For I am a great king, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So, this name, man, the name that we're preaching, man, is dreadful among the heathen. We see, you know? Yeah. If, you, if you're preaching Yahushua, then you're a threat. You know what I'm saying? Right. To these to these heathen, man. Ultimately, that, that you're, you're now categorized as, as hate when you're preaching, all right, the true name all right, of our Lord. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, I got a quick precept. It says, um, Malachi 2 and 7, it says, For the priest's lips <coughs> should keep knowledge, and us, we have the name. How, who where you hear that from? You see, that knowledge is ancient knowledge, man. That ain't your ordinary, average, you know, something that you'll learn in school, man. It says, For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is a messenger of the Most High. Uh, uh, the Lord of hosts, man. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge, man. And, 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 and if you consider yourself a priest, then you're going to be teaching this word, man. And you're going to understand the majority of what's written therein, man. And if, you, if you're if you not, <laughs> you ain't really no priest, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so for all these fake pastors out here that'll tell you things like, oh, the book of Revelation is sealed, well, they ain't real priests because they ain't really keeping knowledge. You see? They mm -hmm. don't really know the names of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son because they ain't the real priest that the Lord chose, man. That's why the Lord said, I will give you pastors according to mine heart. You see? Mm. See? God. It's a beautiful thing. It's all power prophecies. And um, St. Matthew 24 talks about there's going to be false prophets deceiving many. You know mm. what I'm saying? Ultimately, the elect are not, not going to be deceived. But, you know, scriptures say that the deceiver and the deceived are mine. Talking about the Most High, man. You know, he, he created these false prophets to deceive all right, most people, man. Most people are not going to receive. Most people are not going to have that ear to hear, man. That's right. Hey, the scriptures say the deceived and the deceiver is his, man. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, Yahweh by Shem is deceiving you. You see? With those, he put those different deceivers there just to deceive you, man. To, to weed out the undesirables. <sighs> Only the elect is going to be able to find their way and navigate through all the lies and get to this marvelous light, man. Like, huh. a, like, a, like a mouse in the, in finding the cheese in the maze, man. Straight up. <laughs> this is Isaiah 30 and verse 20 it says and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction mm. yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers Come on. so you you know you're gonna see 
You're going to see your, your teachers, man. You're going to see the men of the Lord out there, man. You're going to see the ones that have this marvelous light, man. And we in those times right now, there's a prophecy to be fulfilled, man. Meaning for a certain time, about 400, 500 years, we didn't have any understanding of who we were according to the Bible. Now, sometimes, you know, Judah will wake up and then, um, you know, go against the so-called white man and they'll shut it down. But you have never seen a mass awakening like you're seeing in these last days right now, man. Our people are waking up out of that deep slumber. All right, and, and coming back to, to the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh by Shimeon Shai, man. Okay, and, and all the rest are going to be destroyed, man. That's why we're in a high time right now to be pushing this word. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Word up. Um, You got another precept? I have one if you if you ain't got one. Oh, uh, you got it. Um, yeah, it's locked. This is um, Proverbs 13 and 13. It says, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. All right? So we fear y'all by Shem Yashah. We got a lot of good things to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said that, you know, he's going to reward us for our works, man. Our labor of love is not done in vain. So that's why it's important that we push this word because you got a great reward coming to you for pushing this word. It says, but whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. You see? So you have a majority of the people that, that despise this word, uh, mainly Esau, Edom. <coughs> Who's slandering this word? All right, he's not coming up against us. He's coming up against Yahweh by Shimei Hashai by slandering us and calling us terrorists when we have done nothing. You could look at millions of videos of us on the highways and byways, and most you see is a push and shove. You see, but um, yeah, man, he's basically he got a problem with Yahweh by Shimei Hashai and ultimately gonna be destroyed, brother. That's right. Huh? Yep, right. yep. The scripture says, um, pride go before destruction, man. And these are some prideful ass devils, man. Mm hmm. Word this is uh, Hebrews chapter 4 and 12. It says, For the word of Yahweh Bashim HaShah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Mm hmm. This was, that sounds like a weapon to me. Sounds like a, a better weapon than any, any kind of. Uh, any kind of carnal weapon because uh -huh. you can't heal a spiritual wound. The mm -hmm. only way you're going to heal a spiritual wound is, is by just submitting to the, the fact that you, you know what I'm saying? That's why Esau's hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because we're cutting him down with this word. And now he know that he's, his kingdom's going down and he's got to serve hard bondage. What can you do with that? You cannot, like, mm -hmm. you can't put no, Come. you you can't. You know what I mean? Heal that. You gotta have to sleep with that. You have to eat that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, damn, this what the Bible say? I'm gonna be a slave? Ah, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? They gotta just eat that. Right. So that word is like a weapon. You got something you wanna say? Yeah, the soul just be pierced out here, man. I mean, <laughs> just read it. It kind of it hit me a different. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the first part, you know, definitely. This is piercing even to the dividing and sunder of soul and spirit mm. and of the joints and marrow. That's... That's 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 deep, man. <laughs> uh, like what kind of like you just saying? Like what kind of ain't no weapon in a carnal manner. Ain't no weapon that Most High gave to Esau right. that could do that. And this is and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Ain't no weapon able to discern the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right. All right. While piercing. All right. <laughs> the the soul and spirit. Mm. That, that I mean, and this is our this is our our weapon, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? This is not a weapon that's given to any other nation, man. Right. That's what I'm saying. We got the best weapon, man. We we get the, you know what I'm saying? We got the weapon that make people have nightmares, man. You know, they sit there thinking about, damn, slavery, a thousand years. How could these niggas do this to us? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's yep. nothing that they can do about it. They'll just, you know, commit suicide, bro. Con. And that's another thing I was reading into is like, the suicidal rates amongst, you know, mm -hmm. the Caucasians is on the rise right now. Mm -hmm. Right. They have the highest out of uh, all the uh, nations. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just, that just shows you, man. Hey. That they're just weak. And they're the most angry. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, right now, the Republican whites, they're angry, man. They're the most angry people on the planet, bro. They're the most angry, angry people right now. And they're the most uh, depressed. You know, these different, mm -hmm. you know... Terminologies, man, but mm -hmm, Jake, right. Jake, in their low state, we right. good. I mean, even in our low state, bro, huh. even in our so 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 low state, man, we still could. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why you know these, right. these people are weak, man. Weak, 
Right. It's like it's hard for us to imagine now how um, the so-called white man could could survive slavery. Mm. Like the same, what we had to endure as a people, it, it just doesn't seem like they they're not gonna last a day, man. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But on that day, they're gonna have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna have those spiritual powers. Like, nah, you ain't gonna die yet, buddy. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna have to survive a little bit longer, bud. Yeah, man. That's a that's a sure <laughs> thing, man. That's a sure thing, bro. Uh, um, you got one? Yeah. Um, let me think of a couple, but nah, what have you got? Hey, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much just going with the spirit. This is um Psalms, chapter one, verse one. It says, "Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful." See, it says, "Blessed is that man." So if you Doing what your Yahweh Shem Yahshua told you to do, you're going to be separate. You're going to be holy. You're not going to be walking with the ungodly. You're not going to be walking amongst the sinners or the scornful. Okay? You're going to be delighting in the law, statute, commandments. It says, But his delight is the law of the Lord, and his, and his law doth he meditate day and night. So, this mm -hmm. is something that we're supposed to continue in. This is not something that's like what the brother McQuad said, uh, weekend warriors, man. You're supposed mm -hmm. to be, this is your lifestyle now. You know what I'm saying? If the Lord has called you into this, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be meditating the word, even if you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have this wisdom, man, or, or you're going to be destroyed, man. And that's why it's important that we got to continue in this work. You know what I'm Come. saying? Because uh, as we brought out in say Matthew 24 and 13, it says, He that endures until the end. Time. Say. It doesn't say he that yeah. endures for a year, <laughs> endures for five years, 30 years, or whatever. Like, no, you got to endure to the end. Whatever that time is, yeah, no man, man knows. Like you brought out in, in your lesson too. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? No man knows that time. You just got to endure until that time comes, man. For sure. Yeah, definitely, man. Hey, man, the, 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 the scripture says, man, that... um. What did he say? He said for uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 18, it says, Verily, mm -hmm. for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle, shall no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled, man. Whosoever mm -hmm. therefore shall break one of the, these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So, mm -hmm. you know, we teaching our people. I right, to do these things, man. So we're, you know what I'm saying, Lord willing, going to be called great in the kingdom. This work that we're doing is, mm -hmm. is a mighty work, man. You God know what I'm saying? God, not. And just to land back where he also said, he said he came out to destroy the law or right. the prophets. The right. prophets too, man. Because Isaiah, that's a prophecy. Talking about Isaiah 14, you know what I'm saying? Slavery. Uh -huh. Yeah. Obadiah, <laughs> that's a prophet. He ain't he, he destroy, he destroying the prophets, man. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? This is to you Christians, man. He, he said it himself, man. You know? So it is what it is, man. He came not to destroy, but to fulfill. He's going to fulfill right. Uh, right. Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, man, and the blood's going to be on his garment. Who's right. like, coming from Edom? Right, <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? right. Yeah, man, That that's the crazy thing about it. It's like, they don't really understand that the Lord is with this whole book. Like, he's really about all of this. Like, Come. he said he come in the entirety of the book, roughly paraphrasing. Come not. This is uh, Psalm 37 and verse 39. It says, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord Yahweh. He is the strength in the time of trouble. So this is this is the strength, man, that we keep bringing up, man. This is our weapon. This is the reason why we're going to keep pushing, because this is this is what we have. Mm -hmm. We're, uh, what's it called, prisoners of hope, you know? That, that's synonymous with faith, man. This is, all we have is, is hope and faith, man. That yep. the Most High is going to gonna uh, keep his word, man, that's you know? Right. Just to continue, it says, And the Lord shall help them and, sh and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked. Mm. Right? Talking about these red Hebrew Edomites mainly. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Along with these other heathens. You know what I'm saying? Mainly Esau. Mainly Esau, man. He's yep. the head. And that's why he's going to get the brunt force of uh, of that cup. That's right. <laughs> it says, and save them because they trust in him. So you have to trust in him, man. You know? And, and showing that you trust in them, you know, faith without works is dead. Showing that you trust him is by doing this work. That's right. That's why this has to continue, man. That's you can't, right. You can't just stop like, yeah, I trust him. He knows I trust him. But you, you just what are you doing? You're just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? That's a big fact. Come on, brother. Um, I got this script right here. This is um Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse six. It says, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Alright. What you got people in right now? Folly, man. Alright, th th this word is not being 
pushed in your mainstream media or none of that, man. This is like being demonized right now. We putting in a low place, man. I right, but the scripture says the rich sit in low place. You see, mm -hmm. but folly is set in great dignity, and then it reads on. It says, "I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon earth." So the mm -hmm. true princes of the Most High are gonna be like, um, they're gonna be in a low state. Basically, they're not gonna be your your entertainers, athletes, rappers, any of that that our people look up to. Our people look up to the glitz and glamour, bro. Mm -hmm. okay. When when the Lord said that He's only dealing with the meek and the humble, and they know these things. Mm -hmm. But they look over these things and, and that's why That's a stumbling block Upon our people man You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Wait, I just want to that out. You keep I keep quoting it So I might as well get this In Isaiah 33 and 6 It says And wisdom and knowledge Shall be the stability Of thy times mm. And the strength of salvation The fear of the Lord Yahweh how shy Is his treasure You see that it says wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability. They mean it's going to keep you stable in those days, man. And it says that the, the what do we want? Salvation, man. Well, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the strength of that salvation, man. Mm -hmm. and, and what's that? The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the same way you look at your, you know, your modern day treasures and shit, like your your Maybachs and your, your horns and shit. Well, the Lord looks at that like the fear of the Lord. He looks at the fear of the Lord like that, man. That's his treasure, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got to fear Yahweh Hashem Yashad because the Lord is going to have mercy upon those that fear him. You see? Come on, come on. This scripture also says fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Come you know? on. So this is all synonymous with each other, man. The, what he treasures, he's going to take care of, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you have that fear of the Lord, which is beginning of wisdom, which is going to lead to being stable, we know the scriptures also say uh, double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you don't want to be sitting here, you know, saying that you believe, but what are you doing? Right now you're double-minded. You, you're halfway in the world. You're basically lukewarm. Mm -hmm. you, he ain't gonna take care. Of you. He ain't gonna <laughs> see you as as a treasure. He ain't gonna. You know what I'm saying? You got a collection of you know uh, gems and stones and stuff like that, and it's like. Some dirt. You ain't gonna put that in the same same scenario. That dirt right. gonna go where the dirt go. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna take care of the dirt. That, hey, just throw it where the rest of the dirt is at. Yeah. What they what they think they fooling the Most High out here, man? <laughs> it says on um, this is Romans chapter thirteen verse eleven. It says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe, man. All right. Mm -hmm. So we've been put in these chains of darkness. You know what I'm saying? But. The Lord said that it's, it's high time to awake out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. So, hey, man, it's close, man. We we basically there, man. You know what I'm saying? The way things may look, you know, Habakkuk mm -hmm. two and three, the vision jet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. though it tarry, wait for it because it would not tarry. Meaning, the everything that we're reading, everything that we've prophesied through throughout the months is all gonna take place here in these latter days, man. Because Esau is the end of the world. And mm -hmm. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, all right? And Esau will be you so-called white people, man. You so-called Caucasians, man. Y'all are in rulership right now. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. what better time to be pushing this word than at the latter days, bro? Calm. You know what I'm saying? Calm. Yeah, this is this is all part of the prophecies, man. Even, um, you know, the news and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the this is part of gospel being preached. People are going to watch the news who are not really too familiar with uh -huh. the Israelites. They're going to do some research and find out, like, wow. White man's the devil. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? It is evident, man. It's out there, man. You know, they, 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 they you know what I'm saying? That's why they took so, I mean, we've been out here for, for a decade, man. Not not us personally, but Israelites have been here for decades, man, right. preaching this thing. You know what I'm saying? This is not something new. You know what I'm saying? But now we're a threat. Now after 30 years plus years, now some, some, uh, you know what I'm saying? A couple so-called black people were associated with some type of church that was uh, Israelite. I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ultimately, Y'all didn't even want to do this, man. The Spirit of the Lord is making y'all do this, man. Right. The Spirit of the Lord is, is, is exposing y'all, making y'all bare. And it's just like, what can you say, man? You know what I'm saying? We know the so-called white man. We could go into the Maccabees. We could go into Alexander the Greek, you know, Antipater the Idumian. And how he lines up, he's an Edomite. And he's a verified white person. You know That's how you right. the, the verified uh -huh. you know, on Twitter or whatever? Right. You're a verified Edomite. You know right. what I'm saying? All these different busts and stuff. Like, bro, how y'all gonna tell us that the Edomites were done away with when if you go to these different busts from, like, Greece mm -hmm. and Rome, it look like, why it look like just like y'all, man? Y'all those people, man. Con. You want to run away from your nationality, <coughs> but the men of the Lord are out here every day. The Lord put us out here to remind you every day, all right, of, of, of your future. <laughs> <Con> <laughs> That's right. Yep. 
Um, I got a quick script. This is uh, Proverbs 29 and 16. It says, When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. You see that? And the wicked is talking about you damn Esau Edomites, man. All right. When y'all are multiplied, man, transgression increases. Look at the state of the, look at the state of the people, man. You got all these different nations of people uh, uh, following after democracy, man. It's just weird seeing some Korean guy with a suit and a shaved face. You know what I'm saying? Talking about his his military defenses and all of that, man. Mm -hmm. All right. It's just weird, man. You know. It says um. But the righteous shall, shall see their fall. So the righteous, the Israelites, we're going to see the fall of you devils, man. All right, it's prophesied in the scriptures that we're going to see the fall of our enemies, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch. <laughs> yeah, Khan, Dr. Waterford. Um, I was going to go back to Psalm 37, kind of goes into the wicked. It says, uh, verse 20, it says, But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, Yahweh, shall be as the fat of lambs, they shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. It says, The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous sheweth mercy and is given. It says, For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. Mm. We know that, that that hasn't happened yet, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that, that has to happen, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Ultimately, and this is why men are, are still needed. <clears throat> I was going to get that in Matthew, uh, I think it's 28. Right. But this is why men are still needed to, to labor. You know what I'm saying? Because people, they still caught up in that, that Western mind state, thinking that, um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That Bible is old, man. We, <laughs> trying to, you know what I'm saying? We trying to do something new out here, man. <laughs> right. Like, or the lesson that you put out, talk about, they think that the white man wrote the Bible. White man you know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's a book of, it's an it's a, it's a, uh, ancient text. In scriptures, man, of many different books. How could one man write all of that? Come on. Is <laughs> the so-called white man that wrote the book? Like, yeah. Ah, oh, <laughs> man. Come on. I got a quick script. This is um, Ezekiel 35, verse 4. It says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel, by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the in the time that their iniquity had an end. See, our iniquity had an end, man. But this damn mm -hmm. devil, he just kept on going, man. He still continues his day because he has a perpetual hatred. You see, they're calling us hate groups and hate speech. But Esau has a perpetual hatred pursuant to, uh, you know, Genesis 27 chapter. Okay, he said that he would slay his brother Jacob, man. And hate comes from anger. Anger then goes to hate, then it goes to killing. Who's the real? If we really hated you devils the way that y'all say we were, man, y'all would have been through, okay? Y'all the, the ones that hate us, man. Y'all trying to use this so that y'all can put your hands on us, man. You might as well mm -hmm. forget calling us black Hebrew Israelites. You might as well call us niggers. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just call us a bunch of niggers. Huh. Look at those niggers out there. You know you want to say it. I don't understand why, you, why you're trying to be all politically correct. Mm-hmm. Con, con. That just goes into being an accuser of thy brethren, you know, they, they, the only reason why we still here is because they want us to be, they want, they want this thing to go back into slavery, you know, if we were gone, then they don't have any slaves, right, that's the only reason why they haven't, I mean, ultimately, it's the most high's will, right. you know what I'm saying, but in their head, you know what I'm saying, they're not going to completely destroy us because they, they go on, you know what I'm saying, they, they want us to be their slaves, right, they want to make right. America great again, and that, and that's exactly how they've, um, risen up to such a high level of success is under the backs of the Israelites, man. All right, we built this shit up, man, and y'all still living off of uh, two-thirds Jake out there, or pretty much majority of Israel, throwing their slave money right back at you. You see? <laughs> so you make it so so you own everything, but you make Israel work for what little what little wages. And then what's highly esteemed amongst our people is your businesses, Mercedes-Benz, this and that, that and this, foreign this, foreign that, you see? Mm -hmm. Because that's the witchcraft of the media and the, and the, and the different sponsors and shit. You got different things like McDonald's that feed our people fake food, fake meat, man. And, and, yo, our people go straight to these fast food places, man, spend all of their money, man, to the oppressor, giving everything back to the oppressor, man. Mm -hmm. What's that, a nation that could not save us? We got it out. Um, I was going to get Psalm 50, kind of getting more into the accuser of that brethren. This is basically how with Esau, you know what I'm saying? Just mm. to get it in verse 60. In Psalm 50, it says, <clears throat> but unto the wicked... 
uh, God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee? When thou sawest a thief, then thou con cons consentest mm. with him. Wow. And has been partaker with adulterers. Mm. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. That's Esau all the way, That's man. All That's way, all man. Esau. It's <laughs> not talking about any. It couldn't be talking about anybody else, bro. Right. Just frameth deceit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that thing that happened in uh, Jersey City. We don't know the hundred percent story. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's very fishy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. To say the least. You right. know what I'm saying? For one, where's the obituary of the the so-called uh, the right, guy who died? Right, right, right. <laughs> where's where's the his funeral? funeral? Right. Yeah. Just to get <clears throat> finish off in twenty it says, "Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son." Mm. That's talking about Esau and Jacob. That's right. That was it on that. Yeah, con and you know our people. You know what I'm saying? They'll take face value anything that this devil promotes in the media and this propaganda machine our people oh wow you know like this is the, the damn deceiver you can't see that this this thing this man is not on your side this is um lamentations chapter 4 verse 17 it says as for us our eyes is yet failed for our vain help and our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us so you're gonna you know our people you know oh let's vote you know our people think that voting is gonna get them out of here they think black owned business is gonna do something the only thing that's gonna help you it's coming back to you. How about Shimei Shai? That's all right? right, because you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all y'all not the drug lord. It's not Issachar, man. It's Esau. He's the biggest killer. He's the mm -hmm. biggest uh, maker of guns. He's the biggest uh, drug pusher, man. He's the biggest liar, deceiver, man. How could you be? Esau wants to be everybody but himself. He don't want to be Esau Edom. He want to be Jewish. He want to be uh, he want to be European. Right. You know what I'm saying? He want to be British. He, you know, he want to be a, he want to be everything, man. He, but he don't want to be Esau. He don't want to be the caveman. You see? Mm -hmm, right. They not they not putting that name out there. They put your house right out there, you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Try to demonize the name, but you don't even put Oh yeah, they they call us Edomites. Right. The people going to look it up like, "Oh, they call you Edomites." I wonder why. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh damn. They got a good point. They really are. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Gone. Gone up. This is, uh, you have one? Oh, uh, no, you got it. This is Obadiah, you know, verse 18. There's only one chapter. It says, In the house of Jacob shall be a fire, okay? In the house of Joseph, a flame. In the house of Esau, for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So if Yahweh Shai said that he never did away with the law or the prophets, Mm -hmm. That means your house shy is about this right here. He's he's all mm -hmm. he's trying to he wants to fulfill this. All right, so who yeah who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ? He ain't got no problem with this. You know what I'm saying? He said the house of Esau for stubble. It says um, and it shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord have spoken it. So Yahweh shy he he he's cool with what Yahweh says. All right, so he had no problem cutting off East Edomites, man. All right, mm -hmm. and 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 Jacob. Is you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man? You know what I'm saying? What was that other scripture I was thinking of, man? Who is this coming from Basra? Oh, yeah. Isaiah 63. Gone, gone. Let's see if I can get that out. We can probably end sometimes. Do a part three. <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah, we could go on all day with this one. Man. Right, right, right. This thing is important, man. The word going out, this is important, man. Mm. We need to be constantly. Just, just no limit to uh, uh, how much we can exalt the Most High, man. That's right. That's right. This is uh, Isaiah sixty-three. It says, "Who is this coming from Edom?" Okay, and we know Edom to be wherever you Edomites is at. With dyed garments from Basra, that this is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness mighty to save, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Alright, so, oh, and uh, hold up, there's a little more. It says, I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. See that? That's boss talk right there. You see that? He said he doing, he gonna come through. On on a, on a, on a dolo, and smoke everybody. You see, God. that's 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 boss talk right that's there, right. bro. None was with me, like he said. Me, 
I like have trodden, this. he said, I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people, there was none with me. I could imagine the Lord saying something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it says, For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. So you thought Esau loved blood? Well, Yahweh Shai, he's about to show you what it really is, and he's about to do it to Edom. So, amen. The Lord said that he's about to come back, and, you know, he's about to slaughter a lot of you Edomites, man. What can we do before the truth? Nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> it's the truth. The truth is the truth, bro. Like, what do they want us to do, man? Mm hmm. You know God. what I'm saying? This is what the Bible says. God. This is what the Bible got, says, bro. I got a powerful one, a lamb back. I don't know if you, if you got another one. This is uh, Revelation 22 in verse 19. It says, And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, mm. Yahweh Shemi Shai shall take away his part out of the book of life. Mm. It says, And out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Wow. So, you know what I'm saying? You sure, you want to say, oh yeah, you know, the Book of Revelation is still this already hap this already happened, or you know, you want to make this synonymous with something else? Mm -hmm. Hey, the scripture right before it talks about adding to that Book of Prophecy. You can't be adding to this book, man. Ultimately, it's a prophesy that Edomites they're gonna get trampled down, man. They're gonna have to pay for their for their crimes. Right, and they got a whole lot of yo. It's unanimous decision, man. You are guilty, man. That's right. You are guilty, man. Look at what you've done with the earth, man. Look at what you've done with the with the Lord's chosen people, man. You mm -hmm. are you are finished, man. The scriptures call these people they're, that they're violent in the earth, man. A profane mm -hmm. people, man. Come on. on. You know, as soon as they go into power, now you got all this faggot shit going on, this wickedness. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just just uh, just you know, fucking everybody's mind up, man. <laughs> just death out here. Yeah, man. You know, just sickness. And I got this is the last script I got, and we close out. This is um Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So the Lord coming back and, and staining all his raiment and all of that, yeah, you know, <laughs> though it tarry, mm -hmm. wait for it, because mm -hmm. it will surely come. It will not tarry. See, it's for an appointed time, man. And you can apply this scripture with uh, pretty much every prophecy in the book. So, you know, Lord, yeah, you had something you wanted to say? Nah, I had a quick one, but I mean, I guess I mean, real quick. This is uh, St. Matthew 9 and 38. It uh -huh. says, pray that, ye therefore, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Mm. Yeah, that's really the point, you know, because ultimately, you know what I'm saying? This is what's needed out here. Right. This is what's needed to further push the prophecies as we right. bring it out. Right, we need men that's going to stand up and, and teach this word, man. You know what I'm saying? So ultimately, the elect can be sealed and we can get on into our everlasting kingdom. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? But in order to get, you know, these thrones and scepters and this rulership that you, you know, so desire, because that ain't nothing new. Everybody desires nice shit. But <laughs> yeah. you got to do the work. You got to mm -hmm. be a servant, man. You, In order to, for somebody to serve you and you want these slaves and different things, that's the easy thing for the Most High. But what you going to mm -hmm. do for him? Kind of. Yeah. Matthew 7 talks about that straight game, man. It's, it's that position of difficulty you have to go through in order to get to this kingdom, man. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be easy, man. Hey man, the scripture says, "What is it? Um, the great tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom, man?" Uh -huh. So, Lord's was edifying. Probably gonna do a part three. All right, and with that, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Next up, honors to the elders and apostles. A great millstone that do rule well. Peace and salutations to the sincere Akim, pushing truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And with that being said, Shalom. Shalom.